with Barbie. She asked me to share some baking hacks with you all. These baking hacks will help both you and your recipe, so let's get started. First baking hack is to freeze your cookies for 10 minutes before baking. I know it sounds a little bit silly, but it helps them hold their shape. This hack is really helpful if you're ever making sugar cookies with specific shapes or designs, like little stars or hearts, not just standard circle cookies. After you roll out your dough, cut out your shapes, place them on the baking tray, and just pop these in the freezer for 10 minutes. Then they're ready to bake. Make sure to get an adult to help you put anything in the freezer. Now on to baking hack number two. Line your cookie sheets and cake pans with parchment paper. I used to just bake cookies right onto the baking sheet, and I used to bake cakes just right into the pan. I would lightly grease them and bake them, and sometimes my cake would stick, and it wouldn't quite come out. So a really cool tip is to line the bottom with a piece of parchment paper. Ever since I started doing this, the cakes come out so easy, they don't stick, and look how simple this is. I just cut a little circle to fit the bottom of the cake pan, place inside, boop, grease, and pour in your batter. Then for a cookie sheet, all you need to do is cut a rectangle piece of parchment paper and place it on top, like so. Ooh. Easy peasy. Baking hack number three, you can use plastic sandwich bags to decorate cookies. Oftentimes, bakers or pastry chefs will use decorating bags or piping bags. They're fitted with a little coupler and metal tip at the end, ranging in different sizes to decorate cakes, cookies, cupcakes, you name it. If you don't have any of these at home and you want to decorate some cookies, just scoop your icing into a little sandwich bag and Cut off the tip. You can cut a small hole at the tip, a little doop, to make smaller details. And if you'd like to fill the whole cookie, you can cut doop, a larger. Baking hack number four, to remove the excess air bubbles from your cake batter, tap the pan on the counter. Cake batter does need air for it to come out light and fluffy, but you don't want too much. In some recipes, you really want your batter to be laying flat. So an easy thing to do is after you've made your cake batter, pour it into your baking pan. I'm just gonna pour some in here. Do, 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 do. As you can see, the batter is sitting in the pan unevenly and you really want it to bake evenly in the oven. So just give your pan a tap on the counter. I've placed down a clean dish towel so that it won't be super noisy and hurt your ears. And give a few taps. Tap, 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 tap. Then it's ready to bake. Baking hack number five. Dip your cookie cutters into a little bit of flour to prevent them from sticking. It's so simple. Dip into the bowl, boop, 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 and cut. Just like that, boop, and you can plop them out. I like to dip in between each cut, especially if you're working with a warmer cookie dough or a cookie dough that's softer. As you can see here, these cookies have a little bit of flour on them, and you can just brush them off before you bake. All right, that does it for all the baking hacks and tips. I hope you found them helpful. Just remember when baking to have an adult present. A big thank you to Barbie for having me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.